Hi there, it's Ryan here from Funk, and today we're going to be looking at the Full Focus ST 225 Turbo Blanket. This is actually both available in carbon fibre and titanium like you see here. They both perform exactly the same, it's just the final skin that's different, so it just comes down to personal preference. All of our turbo blankets today are based on the Mark III turbo blanket construction, which has been designed for increased durability as well as improved insulation. These actually perform two to three times better than, our, than their predecessors. Turbo blankets are typically designed to reduce engine bay heat soak, increase the in reliability of the surrounding components, as well as increase the power efficiency of the entire engine. If you want to learn more about the Mark III turbo blanket and its construction, check out the video above. Right now, we're going to be looking at how, uh, how to fit one of these blankets. Let's jump to it. Now we're going to be looking at the items that actually come included. Okay, so first up, you've got your product guide. I would thoroughly recommend reading this cover to cover, uh, just to gain a good understanding of what these products are all about and how to fit them, okay? Then naturally you've got the two main parts of your turbo blanket. You've got the upper part, which is here, which we're gonna be using first, and the lower part, which is slightly smaller and a bit of a weird shape. Also included, you'll find your fastening springs, but we'll come to those a little bit later on. What you'll need for fitment, if you've got easy irritated skin, I would recommend wearing some gloves, and I would recommend maybe either a spring puller tool or some pliers like here. Okay, so we're gonna be starting with using the big part of your turbo blanket, and that there's gonna be covering the manifold portion just here. You're also gonna be using your springs, and you're actually gonna use those on the hardest to reach area, uh, anchors first. So if you, I'll just fit that one just there, and I fit the second one just over here. And then we just kind of neatly place that over the manifold section with this little towel here that's going to just sit underneath the actuator arm, just there. Okay. Remember to fold down, um, you know, the sides of the of the blanket just so that it sits in between the compressor housing as well as the manifold. That's going to really, um, you know, reduce the heat soak into the compressor side. Okay. So once you've kind of got that roughly sitting just like this. This bit here can be a little bit tricky. You want to be able to poke the um, the springs actually through the gaps in the manifold just here, and that will be done just like this. Once those springs are in place, you can definitely manipulate it around a little bit just so you're happy with the fitment, okay? Now we're gonna to try to fit the smaller part, which is actually on the reverse side. So I'm just gonna turn that around just to make it a little bit easier for you guys at home to see. So first up, if we look at the small piece, you'll notice that there's two, on, two anchors on one side and one on the other, on like a long tower, okay? So that's gonna be the hardest one to reach. So we're gonna fit that spring to that anchor point first, and then we're gonna loosely put it in place on the uh, on the turbo, okay? So that sits just like this with the two anchor points that you see at the top there, okay? Again, don't worry about placing it too much now. We can definitely finesse that a little bit later on, okay? So what actually happens here is the anchor point that we've previously put in place is actually gonna fasten onto here. So it's gonna go all the way around and fasten onto here. And this anchor point is gonna be going onto the one from earlier on the larger piece, okay? So if I start by fitting that, just so things are held in place a little bit nicer. so. If I start on the bottom half, which is just here, I feed that underneath. It's very crucial that it goes underneath the actuator arm, and then I just fasten that in place on the top portion of the blanket. And now, just so that you guys at home can see a little better, again, I'm going to turn the turbo around just so it makes it a little bit clearer. So your blanket is actually going to be sitting around the majority of the turbine housing just now. And then the towel that we spoke about earlier is actually going to fit through this small gap here. Okay, so what you may want to do is grab your pliers and feed through there. And whilst you do that, you can grab the spring and that there can kind of act as you know, a way of kind of pulling that through. And it's very important now that this goes the other side of the actuator arm. Actually, we don't want to impede that too much there. Okay. Just like that. Then it's a case of just manipulating the uh, the blanket just so that you're happy with the placement and that everything's being covered up and you're definitely not getting in the way of the actuator arm. Usually this means that around this center portion here of the core, that can sometimes be obstructed and actually you're gonna have pipes coming out of there. So it should aid fitment a little bit nicer. nicer. Once 
once everything's in place and manipulated exactly how you like it, what you should see is the cutout actually providing lots of space for the internal wastegate. We don't want to be catching on that because therefore that could be leading to issues down the line. And that's it. That's the full installation guide of the full Focus ST 225 Turbo Blanket. They, you should be fully insulated now and providing maximum performance and maximum durability for a long time. If you've got any more questions, find us over at funkmotorsport.com.